Hey friends, it's Sonya Miller with Junk Monkey Paint Company and I thought on tonight's vlog I would share with you some footage of how I flipped my kitchen not once but twice in probably what six months i think it was somewhere around march time frame april time frame boy the months are just rolling by um that i decided to paint my kitchen for the first time so here's what it looked like when we moved in and right at about the time i started to paint it oh and by the way yes i even did a whole dollar store backsplash that was the only thing i ever put in this kitchen up until that point that was you know what felt like me so i went to the dollar store put the backsplash up anyhow i just really felt like this kitchen needed a bit of a facelift it is an old 1800s home and yeah as i showed you at the beginning the cabinets were chipping and just lifting in places so i pulled out my junk monkey paint and i decided to use our color that came out right around springtime it's a color called ducky and it is the most cool blue greenish duck egg ish kind of color that you ever want to see so i love that color at that time i thought to myself am i either going to do grayish anatomy because that was the other new color we had which was a like a, it's a grayish a brown gray a grayish and um at this time i decided to go ahead and pull out the ducky and yeah i did the brush and roll and got it done I tend to do these flips, flips late at night because I'm a night owl and that's when I get my most creative ideas. And trust me, as I am brushing and rolling on the junk monkey paint at this point, I am looking down at those countertops, those white countertops that have just gotten so many years of use. I have no idea when they put them in, but they were stained and even as much as I tried to clean them, white countertops, old white countertops, yeah, they just need to be taken out or in this case, given a quick flip. So I got a fix for that too. Yep, I'm painting my countertops in candy bar brown. And by the way, this is how one idea leads to the other. Then I'm looking at the floor as this all comes together and I'm thinking, yep, we need some new flooring too. So this is the first coat on of the candy bar brown. Never paint yourself out of a corner. You see that little corner in there? I gotta get to it. But I gotta let this dry so I can lean over. So, note to self for next time. But we are getting there. I'm gonna finish up right here. And then also on this window seal over here, I'm gonna go ahead, um, sill and bring the uh, dark wood look over to below those windows right there. But here's what the first coat looks like as we transform it to a dark wood top. Pretty cool. So right now we're going around and we are sanding the tops of the counter. So I got this section, this section, and this is the area that I'm now working in over here. You can see where I roughed it up before. This is the brush I'm using. And then what I'm doing is going right over the top of my candy bar brown. And if I want, I can kind of like press a little bit more to make some areas dark. I can put my brush on the side to kind of like wipe a little bit of it out because I do like seeing variations uh, in what's gonna look like my pretend wood grain. So let's do a little bit of that. You know, you can work it on the edges of your countertop, get creative with it. You can kind of see that it's not all even and that's just because I'm using uh, my brush to, you know, stipple a little bit here and there, to pull it here and there, to go a little bit heavier here and there. And that's what's giving me that really cool look behind me. So this is the fresh stuff I'm just working on, just manipulating it. And then this is the stuff that's drying behind me. Yep, we got flooring in progress. I was over that plaid, just faded flooring, but I knew when we bought the house that that was one of the upgrades that we, we would eventually do. And yes, that is coffee dripping in the background. 
a little coffee, a little paint, a few ideas, you know, some great music, and before you know, it all comes together to create a beautiful space. So this was my end result, guys. It did not cost me a lot of money at all, and at this point in buying a new home, there are bigger things that you have to take care of versus your countertops or your cabinets. So you know what? Just make use of what you got, be resourceful, use the colors that you love, you know, go out and find stuff that just makes you happy and just roll with it. And you can, you know what, this is the plan for now. It, you don't have to be married to it forever in the future, which kind of rolls into the second part of this video because I've already painted over that kitchen. Okay, all right, let's talk about this kitchen since we're already into it. Yep, that's correct. It was one dark, cozy evening when Sonya got more ideas to paint her kitchen that other color, Grey's Anatomy, that she thought about before, and she did it. So this side right here and right here, up to right here, this part is painted, but this is the very last thing that I need to do right here. So this is done. Paint this little kickboard underneath the cabinets along this side right here. And then we'll be calling her done. I do like this color, I have to say. I think it's quite warm and just cozy, feels good. And yeah, it's fun to flip it, right? You don't have to be stuck with one color. But this served me for a period of time. I loved it. It was happy and definitely spring-like and summer-like. And now I feel like I'm rolling into fall, looking all fine and fancy. Yeah, I'm rolling in the kitchen with the food. Are you feeling, I'm what are you hungry. feeling, fancy today? Yeah, you're you're just hungry? I'm feeling hungry. Just hungry. <laughs> I think I'll join you. Now, can I promise you that it will always stay this color? Absolutely not. You can betcha that come this spring, maybe even this winter, I don't even know when I'm in the middle of it, I may just one night decide to paint them again. I will paint them again. And it's just awesome to keep refreshing. I love change, how about you? And it feels so, so good to be able to do this. It is, after all, only paint. So I hope this video inspires you and I do have a video on how to paint your kitchen cabinets. I will link it below.